Well, good morning and thank you, Great Sustainer, my source, my power, my love. Just want to say how grateful I am for you. Thank you for providing everything that I need. Be here with me today. Be here with us today. Help us be tuned in to the proper frequency of love and of your light. And we may shine in the darkness that we're in, a lasting, sustaining light. Thank you. And open a clear channel from me to you and from you to me. Thank you. Thank you for providing and for sustaining. Thank you for strengthening, recharging, and encouraging. <sighs> yes. Good morning, y'all. It is Friday. Okay. And we are going to talk about the crown chakra which I have very interesting insight on that this morning we have a lot of people who are over emotional overly psychic or they get the wrong messages sometimes and I feel like you shouldn't be discouraged when that happens um, even if you're a good-hearted person because just because your crown chakra is active doesn't mean that it's proper or that it's functioning properly. Ooh. Also, I notice if your throat chakra is not okay, you have more mental power and it kind of over exhausts your psychic chakra. We can think about things, but we have to say them out loud. Like you can't, some, yes, you have to be, keep quiet about your goals and stuff and you got to be careful about who you talk to about them and you have to make sure that you have a good team and even then you put a team together and people I, I don't know how people be keeping up alive for like 10 or 15 years like what the fuck is that about yo like anyways um this one flipped over so we're gonna pull that one first and today we're gonna be asking some very direct questions. Ooh, the hanging dragon, child. I think I'm going to put, I'm going to pull five cards today. Oh, there's another one flipped over. So yeah, uh, like I was saying, if you don't affirm your goals, um, they just stay stuck in your head or you overuse your mental power and your throat chakra just gets all crusty and blocked up. So you got to make sure that you take time to practice each and every one every, on, on, every day. I like to focus on the one that's predominant on that day of the week. Like today is Friday, but it's also every day, right? They work together. I don't know if this is true. I haven't read it anywhere, but I do believe that your chakra system is uh, associated with the Sephiroth, and oof, I knew that was going to come out. Yo. You've been seeing it. You've been seeing it, right? Ooh, look. Hidden, shown, hidden, shown. Somebody's not in balance. Somebody's not in balance. Um, oof, and look. The other one right on top. So there's five. And judgment is at the bottom of the deck, child. So like I said, with the Sephiroth, um, I think, like, when you, use, you can use the combinations of, like, your root chakra and then your crown chakra when you're angry to go into super saiyan mode right or something like that or you can use your sacral chakra together with your crown chakra and your heart chakra uh to create something pretty interesting and creative right i don't know that's just how kind of it works for me almost like dragon ball z or something let's see what the energy Ooh, five of cups in reverse okay the judgment <sighs> 
I'm going to put this. Can y'all see this right here? The dragons want to speak today, y'all. So let's do that first, and then we'll go into there. Um, so associations and qualities of the crown chakra. It's your spiritual connection. It has your spiritual truth. We talk about talking about speaking your truth. Intelligence, divine wisdom, enlightenment, oneness, pure energy, universal consciousness, the super conscious mind, connect to higher planes of consciousness, and connection to source. Okay. The angels associated with this are Michael and Jophiel. Uh, ha, ha, ha. You want? I, I'm getting a lot of sage, a lot of juniper, lavender, lotus. Um, the symbols for this are the egg or the enlightened human, the universal spirit, right? The rebirth, the Christ. After you die, you come back. Okay, it governs our spiritual connection um, to the God, the goddesses, and the angel spirits. Okay, it can also <laughs> connect you to the demons and whatnot. So be careful. Okay, because not everything like everything that glitter ain't gold. We all know that. Heard that saying dozens and dozens of times. Okay. Um. So it also has to do with the head, the brain, the entire nervous system. Um, so the colors, violet, white, or the full spectrum rainbow. Yes, my, <laughs> what's up, my little rainbows? Okay, so how are we going to shine today? Let's see, how are we going to shine today? The first card. What, who, baby? You shine in the world. You are shining in the world. You are <laughs> shining the light and the darkness. Mm. Let's see what that's about, okay? <sighs> my neighbor's waving at me my old lady she be walking in the morning <sighs> a huge dragon lies coiled around the world around it we see four fixed signs of the zodiac one for each of the four elements respectively success and attainment it's looking good Ain't it looking good, y'all? Ain't it looking good? Uh, uh, uh. Look at that black dragon right there in the back. <laughs> it's like the Kermit, like the shadows, the dark beard in the back. Mm. <laughs> now we got the hanging dragon next. Why well, we got three major arcana in the first pool? <laughs> Whew. Already. Mm. Be, shine your light. Shine your light. Let your light shine. Okay? It's going to be the title of my video. So the hanging dragon. Let me not get... I'm, <laughs> here go the spirit hand. But hyping me up. Okay. Hanging dragon. A dragon hangs upside down from the tree of life. <laughs> suspended in what seems to be in this deep state of sleep. At the base of the tree lie the bones of those mortals who have come close to tasting the fruits of his tree but have not succeeded. But you have attained success. Okay. So to the one side lies the shield of an ancient human king, Arthur, because he pulled Excalibur out the stone and nobody else could. Propped against the side almost as if it were a prized relic. <laughs> Suspended activity, a period of delay. Okay, so just chill and know that I am God. <laughs> wow, Swords, you're really showing out today. Six of Swords. This is, this is, this is the battle right here. Okay. <laughs> Moving on from a negative situation. So this So the source is sustaining your world, okay? And then you got the hanging dragon over here. Okay? And then you got the six of swords. So right now you have a suspended activity, period of delay, but it's cuz you cutting all the negative ties. All right? And now we have the Three of Swords, heartbreak, unless you can com <laughs> communicate. If you can't say what it is that 
if you can't claim your divinity and your sovereignty, if you can't claim and if you can't believe in yourself, and if you can't love yourself and go within, you're going to be heartbroken. You're going to be bleeding. Look at the dragon in the back. Look, look, I never even noticed the dragon behind the heart before. You see how it's behind there? It's trying to come out. And it's like, oh, help me. Help me, please. Help me. Help me, please. No. Put the spotlight on me. <laughs> no, that's not we about to do. We're not here to play. These dragons, see, these dragons, they haven't been speaking, and today they decided to speak. Because I've been saying it in my videos, the dragons don't want to talk to you. That is, you need to speak your crown, your crown chakra into existence, okay? Or you need to speak whatever you're seeing in your mind's eye into existence. You need to claim your rights. You need to claim your divinity. You need to claim your royalty. You need to claim uh, all your abundance and your wealth and your health, okay? Speak it into existence. Get, speak into, see, you're in, two of coins, you're indecisive about it. You, you're back and forth about it. That's what spirit is telling you. Spirit and the consciousness is telling you the source of all things. Look at the birds just telling you, listen, 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 listen. Look. <laughs> Telling you, telling you, decide. Decide. You can't play the fence on this. Decide what side you're going to be on. Because look, judgment is coming. Judgment is here. And I'm not talking about Jesus. I'm not talking about the second coming of Jesus. I'm talking about your karma. Mm, the five of cups is upside down. Somebody, look, there's somebody, five of cups, and right under that is the five of coins. Somebody spilled your cups and just doof, got the tower moment in this motherfucker. You see that? You see that? You see that? You see that? All your cups are upside down now. Ten of cups, ten of cups upside down now. Everything, a king of cups upside down. Everything is upside down now. Because you haven't been uh, speaking your existence. You haven't been speaking your life. You, 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 you squandered your blessing. Ooh. Cut down your problems one by one. Don't let them build up in here by overwhelm you. And then the six of wands is after the, in reverse. Victory, success, and attainment of your objective. See, nope, nope. You, you, you gotta cut down your problems. Or you won't have success. Or this tower moment, tower moment will be in vain. You're gonna cut them all off. And then, look, five of coins. You had it, should have shot it. Now you're feeling departed. To quote the late and great DMX, right? <sighs> Unforeseen expenses. Que yo dije. But what I'm not even saying it. The car just said it's not even me saying it. It's called the lightning. It's coming down like lightning. Just spilled all the things. Spilled all your drink. Cause judgment is coming. Cause you did not. Cause you did not. You like totally just disrespected everything that source gave you like all right i'm gonna give you this i'm gonna let you learn your lessons i'm gonna give you this i'm gonna let you learn your lesson and you just kept taking advantage of people it's like somebody getting power and then taking advantage of people this is like a this is like a what do i how do i say it? like a like a king but a, like cap <laughs> literally capitalism like you have everything but you keep taking from everybody else Mm. And you're not saying anything, and that's why your uh, your crown crown chakra. I mean, this is is blocked, or that's why someone's crown chakra. You all, you there's people watching this that might be thinking like, why do people do this, or why are people treating me like this? I'm I'm a good person in that, and yeah, you are, but you have to learn how to have boundaries, and you have to learn how to take time out to yourself, and how to claim what you want and what your life is gonna be, and you can't let anybody's narrative creep into your own um self-talk okay because affirmations are self-talk oh uh, see now the dragons they said not the mermaid today either mm -mm. they want balance they said they said they want balance see, see? okay the masculine see you got to put the discipline on them tell them what to do <laughs> I like to be told what to do, but that's my... <laughs>
personal opinion. Because I'm a very strong character. I don't know if it's because I'm Cuban. <laughs> or if it's because uh, it's just my nature. But I'm a very strong character. So if you want to tell me something, you better be ready. Ooh, man. Hold on. Let me show y'all how this sun looks in between. This looks beautiful. Hold on. Let me pause this real quick. Look how beautiful. I wish y'all could see how beautiful the sun looks through my eyes. Because this is not getting it. Okay. Gorgeous. Okay. And back to the lesson at hand. Ooh, child. So I'm going to use my Isis Oracle deck. Okay. Over here is shuffling. Ooh. Mm. Let's see. So give me one, two, three, four, five. So let's do the five. I'm going to do the five card spread. Ooh. Ooh, 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 ooh. Spirit of Isis. Hey, girl. Beloved initiate. There are times to surrender and let go, but there are never times to give up. Persist with your bold faith. Mm. Persist with your bold faith and inspired action until the impossible happens. Isis has the spirit of triumph and will never fail in her quest no matter how bold or impossible it seems let her inspire you mm. what we got now healing the divine masculine yes healing the divine masculine within provides protection discernment healing and a sense of deep safety and holding even though through mo through the most uncomfortable circumstances in life your inner masculine is going through healing right now growing stronger in the ability to offer you inner protection and stability so that your inner feminine can blossom with creative expression oh look ain't it so luscious the dark mysteries the dark goddess, let's see what, she don't look dark at all. She looks just how the sun looks right now. Mm -hmm. The dark mysteries, the dark goddess calls you in her inner chamber where she holds a test and a gift for you. The test is your, willis, your willingness to meet and release the fears within that have been secretly holding you back. The gift is freedom, peace, opportunity, and prosperity in all forms. Will you call, will you accept her call? Your time for a deeper initiation is here, right? Because you're about to attain success. Because mm, 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 mm. you've been saying what you want, right? You've been putting it out and you got to say it. I guarantee you, if you say what you need, if you say what you want, the universe will sustain and provide. I promise you that. Look, she's calling to you now. Look how she's holding out her hand. Come here, baby. Come here, baby. Portal of light. Look, that's been coming out. That's the third time that came out this week. Portal of light. It is only in this physical reality that is bound by time and space. You are a conscious being on levels beyond the physical world. You are guided to work with your healing powers behind the confines of time and space. You will not become ungrounded through such spiritual work. You are not leaving your earthly connection behind. You are merely adding to it. Look at what's at the bottom of the deck. And look, under the divine sun child, under that. <sighs> Key of life. The, the ankh pretends new life being born through you now. This new life being born in whatever form will enrich your life, bring you more into wholeness and fulfillment. Do not give up on your creative destiny. Stay with it. You are flowing in the right direction. And you have a spiritual support from unseen worlds. Let it happen. You want to screenshot that? Anybody want to screenshot that? Okay. This is all about balance, y'all. It's all about balance, y'all. You got to say it. Say it. You don't have to do it more, that's when you say it. You have to do it more when you do it. I don't know the song. Oh, 
I just like the melodies. Let's see. It says cut the deck three times. Okay, I'm gonna cut the deck three times. One, two, one, two, three. Beep, 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 beep. Some of y'all need to get y'all prana moving, get that energy flow. Man, you know, man, I've been had look, the world is coming out again. Mm, it's like I got the world in my palm. Nope. Mm, the girl up under my charm. Something about a charming spell. Somebody trying to do a charm spell, but it's not going to work. It's going to go back to them. Somebody's mad because their spells aren't working no more. And every time they do one, they're losing so much power and so much. See, nine of cups. <laughs> Look at her face. <laughs> she like, I got some, I got some for you in that hands. They were looking, and then she got the purple. The, the <laughs> All right. Uh, look, she got the beta fish tail. She ready to fight. Look, leave her alone. Cause if you put, you put another one in there, she gonna fight. She ready. Look. Look, look, I got some for you. I got some for you in these cups. I got some for you in these cups. Look, just at the bottom of the deck, justice, justice in reverse is going right back to the. <laughs> it's like it's going back immediate now. Before it will take a while, and karma would have to come. And mm, he came again. <sighs> God, their fire is just out. One more. Five of Wands. One more. On top. Ooh, King of Pentacles. All right. I'm going to stop after. The Chariot. <laughs> you said keep going. The Devil. <laughs> Praise the Lord. Let's see what the... Ooh, look, it almost opened right on the Nine of Cups. It opened right on there, y'all. Look, it didn't even take me long to find it. <sighs> so in the upright, the sea witch has blessed you with one of her cups. Congratulations. See? A success and attainment with this divine masculine over here. Only one who is filled with gratitude and has an open heart can drink one of her magic brews. Only the person who sees other success as their own will be able to curate true success for themselves. It takes someone special to see that when others do well, we do well, we all do well. To see that blessing grow when they are honored and to be humbled enough to accept the gifts now that come their way. Bitch. <laughs> oh, God. Oh, so let's go now to two of wands. Here we go. He looking like, what the fuck? Why is the what? The volcano? What the what? Oh my God! There's a lot to hear. Look, they said a lot. You need to say a lot because you're thinking about a lot and you're blocking your crown chakra. All that shit you got going on in your head, all it's doing is draining, mentally exhausting you. Okay, it's just mentally exhausting you. It's mentally exhausting you. I cannot stress that enough. You have felt the power and energy of the wand, but now you are discovering that it comes with a high level of risk. Now you have a choice to make: Will you rise to the occasion and take? Uh, this new adventure or idea to idea to the next level or will you take your current buzz and be satisfied with the small rush of ace the ace of wands gave you just know that if you decide to take the risk you will have to be like a mer warrior and step into the energy as if it was a spiritual practice full of devotion and honor boom all right there you go better do it don't be like oh yeah i'm gonna do it then when the universe show up you be like oh, fuck it never mind nope it's hurtful it's hurtful, you know, hurt, you hurt the universe feelings. Don't do that. Because uh, then that's how you get all this judgment and justice and all this against going towards you, okay? And we ain't trying to break nobody's heart. I'll never break your heart. Don't send me that song, okay? I don't, I don't like that song. All right. So in reverse, we have the Eight of Pentacles. So you got how are you gonna make sure you out of this darkness and the dark mysteries and getting into your portal light that you don't you don't 
you don't break your heart. How are we going to heal your heart? We got the eight of pentacles right there, okay? Because, you know, you got to speak from your heart. Boom, it goes up to your what you're saying through your throat chakra. But your your heart and your your crown chakra, all that part of the sephirot has to be aligned. So that way it can come out properly. Because if not, it gets distorted. Your message will get distorted, okay? So, and the eight of pentacles in reverse. So people know your name big fucking deal okay if you think you have finally made it you are sadly mistaken sitting back and basking in the half glow half ass glow of your work might take might make your ego feel good but it will be very temporary because you will have missed the real opportunity this card brings with it the value of this card is all about how you contribute miss the lesson now and you will be doomed to repeat it and what do we have after that the king of pentacles in reverse to kind of uh, clarify that a lot. Oh, no. Yeah, let's do the five of wands first, King. Sorry. Come on, baby, light my fire. Everything you drop is so tired. Music is supposed to inspire. How come we ain't getting no higher? <laughs> Ah, let's see. It's in the reverse of five of wands. Okay. Thankfully, you have some time to get all those five pearls in order. Not right now, energy is not at full capacity and your thoughts are dis in disarray. Before you work on turning this card around, get your thoughts together and focus. Remember that this card is bring with it no promises or guaranteed results. It merely offers power. Right. So it's just a driving force. It's just a driving force. And right now, I'm actually looking at some ants on the floor right now, bro. Like, watching them work, and it's like, they're, that's the driving force that it's talking about. Okay, let me see. Hold on, I'm going to pause it real quick. Can y'all see them? Do y'all see them? Do y'all see them? There's a, it's a force, and they're just, they're going right there from the middle. You see them going in the middle? And that's the wisdom of Solomon, baby. You let work all summer. Because in the winter, ain't shit. Okay. We working over here. All right. So, after that is the king of pentacles. All right. Make, make sure y'all working on that. Make sure y'all working on that. The king of pentacles is in reverse. And he don't look too happy. He's like, bitch, what the hell? What the fuck? He looking at you like, ma'am. Ma'am. It's above me, ma'am. It's above me now. Thanks. Look at his hair, though. I love, I love his hair. How he got the seaweed coming out the top. The crown. He looked a little bit like little Jesus there. Because he got the crown of thorns. How the crown of thorns would look if it had flowers on it. <laughs> and his eyes is blue. So, <sighs> it is important to understand the that the king is not obligated to share anything with you as one of his many subjects in his ever-growing kingdom you will benefit from his mastery on very basic level but he owes you nothing beyond that so if you ask him for something you must allow him to do you must allow him to do so on his terms and in his way find if you are truly want him to bless you with knowledge and understanding of this material world need neediness and impatience will only drive this king away as he wants to learn that flowing abundance in all of its forms is not a trick, but a never-ending process. As he wants you to learn that the flowing of abundance in all of its forms is not a trick, but a never-ending process. Mm -hmm. Get your chariot ready now, because now that you know that, you're about to take off. Let's see the chariot. Man, we got a lot of major arcanas in this in this. Um, In this reading, let's see. Let's find the chariot. Uh, oh, the devil's right here. So let me. Oh, there it goes right there. I passed it. The chariot in the upright. Buckle up. See, he's about to take off. Okay, he'll lose it. The buckle up. Things are about to get interesting. The Hippocampus is being prepared for a journey. 
its gear its gear is being lovingly secured and strapped into place it is all but ready to take you where you will need to be the the journey will likely be interesting as they rarely take you where to want to go where you want to go only to the places that you know that you know you need to go you might find their method liberating or frustrating depending on how deeply you are attached to your destination either way you are in for a ride you won't quickly forget okay turn that frown upside down okay get that booty to the ground so the devil in reverse at some point the mermaid will have to make her way out of the trap <laughs> out of that trap ain't no lock the lock is open child she over here making a show. They had show. You see the lock? Wide open. No, oh, come help me. Help me, please. You thought she was trapped. She not. She looking for somebody to eat. At some point, the mermaid will have to make her way out of the trap. She can't stay there. And whoever laid the trap for her knows that she won't survive in it. Hence why it's not locked. Okay, she will eventually come to her senses and realize that her life is more important than the things she has chased onto the beach. Her mind will clear and she will make her way back to the sea. You two have had a moment of clarity and although it isn't easy to say goodbye to something or someone you have pined after, you know it is it is the best thing that you can ever do. Mm. Yes, this is true. So let's see, we got the justice in reverse over there. As the overall meaning of that. Short-term gains may mean long-term pain. Do not cut off your nose to spite your face. Things may seem like they are not in your favor, but remember that justice is not about being right or revenge. It is about finding a way to reconcile an act that has already been done. Reconciliation can never truly make up or for it or repair the damage that has taken place. But the longer you try and mold it to your pain, the worse off you will find yourself and everyone involved. You can't. You can't control how a motherfucker apologize too now. Come on now. The under magician in reverse, just gonna turn your magic around. What else? The eight of cups, eight of swords, six of pentacles. Damn, this shit. The queen of swords, man. Two of cups, everything. Six of swords. Look. And then finally at the six of swords, that's when you hang man. Hanging dragon hang man. There you go. Two of wands. See, everything. Once you let that go, the moon, yeah, once you let that go, the five of cups, once you let go of trying to control five of swords, what they do or how, how they pay you back, or, just focus on yourself, okay? Focus on the things that you need to be saying for your life and stop, stop, stop avoiding your pain. Stop avoiding your heartbreak. Stop avoiding what happened. Stop it. You got you to gotta go through it. Okay. Then I'm gonna pull one more. This will be it. Woo! I get my day started. Yeah. Oof. Dang, and this show ain't trying to whisper nothing. He said I got it covered. Look. Oh, sorry. I stepped on the ants by mistake. I ain't trying to mess up the ghetto. Come attack me. Don't I want them ants attacking me, y'all. Man, they have not. These Ganesha ones have been like. Ooh. Hold on. Oh, this one's. Uh, there we go. Insight 26. Did we get that one yesterday? That's the one that's in reverse there. And at the bottom of the deck, belonging. Okay, so let's see. 26. Uh, insight, your inner compass knows the key to your true happiness. Ganesha is focusing attention to your third eye chakra. Wow. He is acknowledging that you're in a phase where you can grow and expand your consciousness. Intuition is the voice of the spirit and soul. It can be heard when you are in a state of calm. You have the ability to tune in to a strong, clear connection. The guidance you receive from the divine can always be trusted. The intuitive insights you receive speak to you about things that directly affect your life, relationships, and personal process. You may find that your intuition grows and becomes clearer 
the more you tune in and follow it. The more you clear your third eye chakra energy space and practice using your intuition, the more you will clearly see it in every way. Indigo blue is the color for the third eye chakra. When the third eye chakra is in balance, you are self-realized. You will find that you live in harmony with your expanded true self and with people who you interact with in all your life. This does not mean that you will never have problems, but rather that you look at them with a different perspective. You may find that you are charismatic, empathetic, and highly intuitive. You are intelligent with a good imagination and accurate perceptions. Okay. And then at the bottom of the deck is belonging, right? Okay. Forty-one. Belonging. Learn to find serenity from within. This um, In this card, Ganesha uses the mouse as his vehicle, which signifies his triumph over the ego. In Hindu mythology, the mouse symbolizes the ego, for the ego can eat away at all that is good and decent in, the, in a person. Belonging, belonging seeks to solve the predicament the predicament of the ego's own perceived separation. Since the ego has no conscious memory of its connection to others and to source, you experience a need to get out of the seclusion by bonding with people around you. These people can be your family, peer groups, or your community. The ego is neither good or bad, but simply a necessary part of you in this existence. The ego can manifest inclinations that are either more positive or more negative in nature. There are many positive aspects to belonging. You develop your ability to love, connect, bond share and care for others you see yourself more clearly through the mirror of relationships it is important in belonging that you try not to seek approval through others through this card ganesha is here to help you focus on the positive feelings from being a part of a community learn to ask for help and rely on others thank you so much to, for listening to my reading today i really appreciate you guys it was a crown chakra sh uh, slash third eye chakra thing going on today ah, so i'm very excited about this reading it, i just i hope you guys can receive from this and just please like comment share subscribe and i can't wait to hear about all the miracles that are transpiring in your life don't forget to say thank you to the most high have a great day